Yes, I was. I was I was born here in Nairobi, Kenya. Mm. Spent ten years mm. of my life here, and then we transported ourselves to the United States of America. But are you Kenyan? Yes, I am Kenyan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rubadiri is not a Kenyan. It is not. It's funny because there's so many um, variations to where it's from, mm -hmm. uh, and there's a story behind it. Okay. Um, so some people think it's from Uganda, some people think it's from Rwanda. Oh, hey. But it's actually from Malawi. Yeah, and it's been around for four generations now. Wow. The name was actually created. <laughs> That's why I'm saying there's a story behind it. It was created? So what happened is my great-grandfather mm -hmm. uh, was taken as a slave to Oman. When he came back to Malawi, uh, he, of course, converted to Islam. Mm -hmm. He would pray five times a day, a very staunch Muslim. And so his fellow villagers wondered, what is he saying? Because he was praying in Arabic. So they would imitate him, make fun of him and say, Arubadi, Arubadi, Arubadi. <laughs> so he said, you know what? I like that. So I'm going to take that. And that became the family name, Rubadiri. <laughs> uh, and we've just kept it on for the next couple of generations. Wow. So I actually know all the Rubadiris that exist. <laughs> <laughs> Rubadiri. Yeah, if anyone Rubadiri. tries to purport to be a Rubadiri, yeah. I would be able to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great story. So then you went away. Yes, went away. Came back in uh, 2010. So I did my part of primary... Mm. High school and university in the U.S. Where? Uh, university was Temple University mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. Philadelphia, very good. Bill Cosby went to that school. He did. But that's another story. I mean, uh, yeah. so, uh, I know. You know, you want to own him. Yes. You really do. Yes. Because he would speak at every single graduation. <laughs> would he? <laughs> and then after what happened happened. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shame, shame. But Fall great, from grace. Great, but great, great college though. Great university. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Loved it. And some of my mentors also went there as well. Tamron Hall is alumni. Uh, people I really admire mm -hmm. in the in the business. You as well, Jeff. You didn't go there, but I really do admire you. And oh, it's an honor to work alongside you. so sweet. <laughs> I have to tell you this story. Go on. So I, I used to go to Rusinga School. And uh, you were actually one of the keynote speakers for one of our award or prize giving days. You were in school then? I, mm, yes, Jeff, I was. And here you come and you say, good morning. <laughs> and the place goes wild. And I thought, okay. I mean, everyone admired you, Jeff. <laughs> and it was such an honor to have you come and speak to us. And how many years later? I won't say because you can't tell how old I am. Uh, we, yeah, are we are together. doing the show together. Exactly. What are the it's chances? Amazing. Exactly. Dreams are valid. They are, indeed. I should say that to Moses. King Moses. <laughs> <laughs> so it will come to pass. <laughs> so you majored in broadcast journalism? I did. You knew this was what you wanted to get into? Oh, yeah. Um, I think from high school, oh. I, I mm. figured this is what I want to do. I admired people like Christiana Van Poor. Mm. Amazing, amazing oh, journalist. Incredible. You know. incredible. And, and I said, yeah, this is what I want to and do. And Zainab Bedawi. Oh, my oh, Zainab, goodness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The likes. Doing amazing. Yeah. And you said, you said what? Uh, uh, what made you come back home after, you know, you were away 14 years. What made you say, I want to go back home and yeah. do this? Yeah. You know, um, after graduating, it was at the height of the recession. Job market was <clears throat> terrible yeah. in the U.S. Yeah. And, you know, even when we were graduating, our professors told us, do not count on getting a job anytime soon. So I figured, you know what? Let me try my luck and come back home and see what's there in the media market. Yeah. It was growing. Yeah. And I figured uh, even if I have my foot somewhere in a small station or newspaper, I didn't care where I was. I just needed to get in. And as you know, Jeff, the U.S. market is very competitive, extremely, extremely competitive. And so I decided to come home and, and see what was out here. Yeah. And the word on the street is you tarmacked for a while. Yeah, four or five months. That's not a while in by Kenyan terms, because there's people who tarmac for a four couple of years, years yes, you know? Yes, yes. Um, so I count it a blessing that even in that span of time, mm. I was able to find work. Um, and at a great place to start, which was yeah. Capital FM. That also has its own story. <laughs> but I mean, I, I really counted a blessing that I even have this job and this career here in Kenya. Yeah. It truly is a blessing. Mm. So how long were you at Capital? 
two years. Which dra- different shifts or? So I was a Teddy Otieno. I would do the news. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, I would read the news. Okay. Uh, I was a business uh, presenter, yeah. business reporter at yeah. first, okay. and then worked my way up to the main news. And I did a segment. It was actually the pioneering online TV segment on Capital FM. And that's actually what got me noticed by NTV. Is that right? Yeah. You know, some famous people pass through Capital. You know that, right? Oh, yes. Caroline Motoko. Oh, absolutely. Maya Kageni, Zane Virgin. Totally respect all of them. Joe Tunis, Phil Matthews yes. back then. Remember? Oh, yeah. man. Those were the days. Veterans. You know? Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay, so from there, springboard onto NTV. Onto NTV, this was uh, election time. Oh. So, literally, baptism by fire. Uh, that was my first introduction to TV. This is the 2013 one. 2013 yeah. elections. Mm. And yeah, the rest is history. Worked with a great team. Mm. Larry Mado, oh, Mark Masai, Smuto <laughs> I mean, these are great people to yeah, work with and yeah. really helped me grow my career. Really? Yeah. And good ambiance. I mean, you like this? Yes. Have... Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. Yeah. Such camaraderie among the fellow anchors and yeah. reporters. So yeah. it was it was an amazing experience. You have a very quiet demeanor yeah, about I do. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and people wonder, how did you even get on TV? How yes. does that even work? Because most of us are so aggressive. And Extremely. So, yeah, yeah. We don't mess around. It's funny because, and someone asked me that the yeah. other day, like, and I'm an introvert, by the way. Mm. So I have this very quiet, calm persona about me. When people meet me in person, they're like, whoa, it's like you're so unassuming. You can't tell that you're there. Yeah. Um, I had to carve out a niche for myself in the market. And, and that was actually with Victoria's Lounge. Mm-hmm. And it mm-hmm. was creating this platform where I started to talk about issues that didn't only matter to me, but mattered to Kenyans. And they were able to now connect with me on a different kind of platform, a different level, and to see a a different side of me apart from the news. And it's something that fit my personality as well. Um, So for people out there who feel, "Ah, maybe I'm too quiet, I don't have the media persona, personality, this is not for me, don't count yourself out because of that. There's always something that you can offer if you're able to carve out a niche yeah. um, that is able to reach out and impact the, the audience. Do you ever get angry? <laughs> Gosh. Yes, I do, Jeff. No. You're, not the, you're not the first person to ask that. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny because my dad's the same way. I've never seen my father get angry. I've never seen him get angry. He has the same personality as I do. Um, And of course, yeah, you'll get upset, but you find ways of managing it. I guess my way of of managing anger is very different from other people. Sure, sure. Wow. (laughs) Jeff. No, honestly, man. I feel like you're going to say something to try and... Will she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going to get pissed off any minute now. Um, How many are you in your family? How many siblings? One. I have a younger sister. Uh And I have a daughter. Oh. I have a teenager, Jeff. Come on. She's 13 years old. What? Yeah. Going on 23 oh, or something. Right? Yes. <laughs> but she's amazing. Yeah. She has really added a lot of value and meaning to my life. So, uh, yeah. Her name is Nema. Nema. Yeah. Wow. What a name. Does she look like mommy? She does. But it's funny. Um, I would say a lot of it also comes from her dad as well. Mm. There's no point in time that she really looked like me. I felt terrible about that. <laughs> like, how do I not have a stake in this? Seriously. After all, yes. <laughs> After all of this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but she's a great kid. She's yeah. a great kid. What does she want to be when she grows up? Do you talk about it? We do. Yeah. It's funny. Um, nothing to do with media. Yeah, okay. But she would like to be a vet. She loves animals. She loves animals. Yeah. I mean, that might change over time. Because she's correct. also very talented. She loves to sing. She mm. loves to act. Mm. So you never know. She'll find herself in the arts if shees not careful. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, what a story, what a story. <laughs> and where, where do you want to take all this? What's your ultimate Ooh, goal? Good question. I feel, I, I really want to produce more content uh, for the continent.